as a naturopathic doctor, we are trained to treat patients on just about every level you can possibly think of, whether that are lifestyle modifications, dietary modifications, um, and certainly symptom support, supporting certain systems, and, um, and everywhere in between. One of the hardest levels to treat patients on is the lifestyle component. I'm Dr. Andrew Neville, and I specialize in treating adrenal fatigue, but I want to talk to you about some really small, relatively easy, no, simple changes that you can make to your lifestyle that can help if you're suffering from adrenal fatigue. Adrenal fatigue is basically a body that is stuck in fight or flight for too long. Okay, um, so we're in stress physiology for too long. Now we're trigger happy. We have a bucket of tolerance for stress that is full, right? When that bucket is full, you can't tolerate any stressors, even very minor stressors. Um, the limbic system and the stress response system gets trigger happy. I mean, there's all kinds of reasons as to why this happens. But think of it this way, your bucket's full, it probably feels that way, you can identify with that. When the bucket's full, you can't tolerate much, right? So what do we have to do to fix this? We have to create space in the bucket. One of the ways that we do that is let's pay some attention to what's in the bucket. Your whole life is in this bucket, past and present. Every responsibility, every to-do, every task, every worry, every shopping trip, every uh, bit of exercise you do, it's all in that bucket. So one of the things I ask my patients to do is pay attention to anything that triggers their stress response, no matter how small, right? And we know what that feels like, right? Whatever triggers us into that, you know, tension or wiredness or angst or anxiety, panic attacks, pay attention to any of those triggers and we're going to consider those bad. So you want less of the bad stuff, right? Because if you bring this down, right, and stop triggering that system, then this other side, the healing and repair physiology, that'll turn on. Now, problem is it doesn't take much to trigger my patients into fight or flight when the bucket's full. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Think about this bucket. This bucket does not discriminate between any and all stress, right? Physical, mental, emotional, uh, diet, nutrition, toxins in the environment, uh, even accidents and injuries, especially head injuries and trauma, abuse, but also family, uh, relationships, your job, your boss, traffic, uh, you know, shopping, cooking, cleaning, politics, social media, it's all in that bucket. If you can identify any controllable stressors, it will absolutely help you to create space in that bucket, which kind of loosens up this physiologic shift, okay? Anything, even the smallest stuff. Now, most patients who develop adrenal fatigue, we kind of tend to be cut from the same cloth. We tend to care a little too much, and we tend to be doers, and because we care about what we do, we do them well, and then that feels good, and then people come to us because we do things well, and then that feels even better. We get pats on the back, and then we do more things, and then we can become a little over- doing, overachieving, perfectionist, things like that. It makes some sense to identify that, if that's you, and slow that down a little bit. Slow that down. So I ask all my patients temporarily to slow down, back off, say no, don't volunteer, right? Don't burn the candle at both ends. Get help. And if help isn't offered, ask for help. It's okay. Stop being everything to everyone, right? Try to conserve, right? Take care of you, which you've probably earned that time to be able to take care of you. Rest as much as possible and pace yourself. And pace yourself just means take breaks. How hard is that? Take a break. It's one of the hardest things I can ask my patients to do. I'm like, well, all I'm asking you to do is take a break. Well, but I have to do this and this and this. And I'm like, you can still do those things, but do a little, rest a little, do a little, rest a little, do a little, rest a little, which will help you to not overspend your energy. Because every time you overspend your energy, now that's a stress on your system as well. 
and we keep filling up the bucket. So try to slow down a little bit, back off, say no temporarily. And it's, it's a no, not right now, not a no forever, but no, not right now. Conserve. Stop filling up this bucket quite so much while at the same time, you know, we'll do our work to help to expand your bucket, which you can also do and you should do expand that bucket that drops to level two. Right. But pay attention to those minor lifestyle modifications. You don't have to empty your bucket to get well. Just create a little space, a little space. It works and it's a good place to start. Good luck.